Welcome everyone to College Station, Texas, under a benevolent incandescent sky. You're watching ESPN College Football Primetime, presented by IHG Hotels and Resorts. You're watching the SEC on ESPN. In a fluid, changing world of college football, one thing remains the same, the 12th man at College Station, Texas. Today, New Mexico is in the house, a prohibitive decisive underdog but their head coach Danny Gonzalez ready to author a major upset Bo Fisher's playbook New Mexico winning the toss electing to receive from the three it's Christian Washington and he's brought down right across the 15 yard line out to about the 18 yard line where it'll be first down and 10 to prove in that department first down and 10 they're going to hand it off. And no gain. Krosky Merritt stopped up right near the line of scrimmage. Let's go down to Quint for more. Lessen the self-inflicted wounds. He throws it complete to the 26-yard line on a quick slant. That's Jeremiah Hickson, one of the transfers from Alabama State. They have third and one. They're going to run it between the tackles and pick up the first down. Krosky Merritt. 5'11", 205, two receivers out to the top of your screen. Now motion, that's Hickson. Complete to D.J. Washington out near midfield. And they move the chains again, first and 10, into Aggie territory, a pickup right at midfield. A little pressure coming off the edge. Quick slant, complete at the 45-yard line. That's Andrew Erickson. Working against Josh DeBerry. Second and five. They're going to run it again. Nice cutback by Merritt. Nowhere to go. Tripped up right near the line of scrimmage. Great penetration by Walter Nolan. Receiver. He looks that way underneath, and it's caught for the first down. Hickson with a grab in traffic and letting Richardson know about it, too. They move the chains again, Lewis. Alabama State. One of three prominent ones on offense for the Lobos. Out of the backfield, caught at the 40. Nowhere to go for Hickson, and that time engulfed. DeBerry leading the way. Second down and 11. Christian Washington in the backfield. He takes the toss to the wide side of the field. Good run support off the edge. And for this football team, they're going to have any success today. Third and long, 12 to go. Gets it off in time. Incomplete down the sideline for D.J. Washington. No flag. Closely covered by Javon Thomas. Anaya Smith perched at his own six-yard line. Catches it at the 14. You what it's going to get heated down on this football field, especially with this a m offense out here. They run it on first down. That's Moss, the operative word of the day. Amari Daniels now in the backfield out of Miami Central High School. Wigman back to pass has time. Good move. Picks up the first down, and he's going to lay down at the 34-yard line. Great mobility by Wigman to pick up 17 yards on the play. Yeah, that was one of the things that the New Mexico. Had four touchdown passes in that Mississippi game. Throws it to the sideline. We got a flag down intended for Anaya Smith. Pull the gates in on coverage. And we got a flag down on the field. Boy, what a welcome sight Smith is offensively for the Aggies. Injured last year in the Arkansas game. Now back from that fractured leg. Pass interference on the defense. Number nine. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Now you're going to see Paula Gates right here. Look, they are trying to be physical with these wide receivers at the line of scrimmage, but you can't grab, you can't hold, you can't impede their progress down the field. But they made it a point to say this. We got to get our work done early in the down. We got to disrupt the timing, let our pass rush have some time to get to the quarterback. They run it into the boundary this time. Amari Daniels, 5'9", 205, brought down by Tavion Combs. Connor Wigman goes along as being mentioned as one of the best quarterbacks in the country. He has the weapons, he has the talent. Delivers a strike, complete. And a late flag 
as Evan Stewart made the catch. Looks like we're going to have a face mask infraction. Paula Gates Personal foul. in on the play. Face mask, number nine on the defense. 15 yard penalty added to the end of the run. First down. Look again, you see Paula Gates right here. Look, Danny Gonzalez talked about in his pregame speech there's going to be a lot of emotion. You're going to need to control yourself, play within yourself and match their intensity, but you cannot commit penalties and give them, you know, hidden yardage and let them march down the field. Another one of those transfers coming from Nebraska, 618 to go in the opening quarter. Wigman looking to pass again. Complete. What a move by Stewart. And he got ripped. They put it on the ground. The Aggies look like they've got it back. Smith was there. It was ripped loose by Dante Martin. And Texas A&M fortunate to recover the ball at about the 17. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by Evan Stewart. You see there the inside release run, the quick slant against really what is a too high cover two type scheme. But then you see Dante Martin, the most experienced guy on this defense, rip it loose. They run it into the boundary. Good tackle that time after a gain of about three by Paula Gates. Wigman into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies! Noah Thomas. They went 85 yards in a little over three minutes, Lewis. You see New Mexico bringing pressure, bringing five. They have man-to-man -man across the board. Noah Thomas, you know, what you're talking about, a guy who's 6'6", 200 pounds, going up against Christian Ellis. They go on that slot fade. Yeah. And he puts it right where he needs to, Connor Wegman to Noah Thomas. That's the kind of start. That's the fast start we're talking about, Mark. Texas A&M with the early lead just underway here in the first quarter. White in Washington. And let it go through the end zone. Let's from last time they were here. Merritt in the backfield. Makes the catch. Got a block. Got rocked. And falls forward to the 28-yard line. Cooper making the hit. Let's look back at Washington in the backfield on second down. Pass complete for the first down to Erickson. Makes the catch at the 36-yard line. Hey, folks. Tomorrow over with his own offensive coordinator Brian Vincent nowhere to go that time for Christian Washington short gain on the play if any tackle made by Walter Nolan second and ten nice run but a short gain on the play Christian Washington chopped down by Josh DeBerry we got a flag down on the play as well To sort this out. Holding number 56 on the offense. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay second down. Lewis and Adam struggled in close games. They got to master that situation. Lost a bunch of them last year. Tight ones. This is Merritt again. Brought down by Shamar Turner, one of the guys up front that is supposed to make a major impact this year. Gain of one on the play. There's make sure that they're doing the smart thing. Third and Houston to go. Incomplete. Knocked down at the 34-yard line. Big time hit in the secondary by Gilbert, number 20. He put some smoke on it. your offense. Let them go back to work. Keep an eye on Anaya Smith. A lethal punt returner calls for the fair catch. Made contact. The ball came loose. There's a flag down. That may go against... New Mexico is one of the players was made him was pushed into punt returner and blocker. Again, the mistakes, the hidden yardage yeah. that comes with flags. Kick catch interference on the kicking team. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down, Texas AM. These are the kind of things you look, you just got to pull off here. Yeah. You've got to be smart. Let them go ahead and fair catch it. 
and then live to play another down. Now you give them 15 yards. They're starting on your side of the 50. Wow. And now's one of these times. We'll Taking a shot as predicted. Incomplete at the two yard line. Intended for Evan Stewart working against Dante Martin, who ripped that ball loose. On the throw. First incompletion of the game for Wigman. Second and ten. Nice cut to the left side of that offensive line. Running behind Dewberry. And Combs makes the tackle on Daniels, picks up seven. About six, seven, three twenty plus for both of them. Gets the call again. Hit initially after a gain of a yard. Fell forward close to the first down. Moss lining up out of the eye. Moss over the right side. It's going to be close. It appeared as if, according to the spot, that he earned enough yardage to get the first down. Combs. If I had a class ring, I'd wear mine. <laughs> Wide open. Touchdown. Evan Stewart. to start the second quarter from Connor Wigman. You see it, no Apollo Gates. He doesn't have a safety in the middle of the field, and you see him jump outside on Evan Stewart, who just gives him a stick move outside and just takes it to the middle of the field. Apollo Gates is having a rough go of it early on in this football game, and Evan Stewart is showing you why. He's one of the best wide receivers in the country. Wow. A dynamic combination with Wigman and Evan Stewart, he had the most targets in their spring game, so you knew that they'd be seeing a lot of this in the future here in College Station. Wigman at the trigger, Stewart at the other end, back after this. Points over me, not get penalties, get behind the chains. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Well, they're gonna chance to get the football here. And taking it out of the end zone is Washington. Not sure about his discernment, but we'll check in with the studio first. Begin the second quarter, their first possession of the period. They're going to run a reverse to Hickson. But those Texas A&M players can run. There's going to be a face mask at the five. Shamar Stewart, or maybe a horse collar infraction. Shamar Stewart was right there. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. Number four, 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. SEC all freshman a season ago showed you why. Look, I can just tell you this when you watch the tape of Shamar Stewart, look, I understand he gets a face mask penalty, and you don't ever want that because that is dangerous. He's from on the ball carrier stage. I didn't nobody. ESPN's number one defensive end in the high school rankings. Pass complete to the wide side of the field. DJ Washington brought down about a yard and a half shy of that first down. Could have a second down and one. He'll pick up the first down on the carry by Krosky Merritt. And he keeps those legs churning. Got to cash out at some point. They run it into the boundary. Washington with nowhere to go. The intransigence of that Aggie defense showing right there once again. Albert Regis, the first one to get there. You talk about they can sustain it. Look out for Texas A&M. Always tough in the SEC West. Pass complete. For the first down at about the 38-yard line, Jeremiah Hickson making another catch. Boy, he's been targeted a bunch. First and 10. Pass complete to the tight end. Picks up another first down at about the 27. Whithoff. And folks, next Saturday night. Abandon it. You see right there, they move the pocket, run a little boot action. They fake the jet sweep. Nice move by Merritt. And on his own, Merritt scores a touchdown. Good block by Erickson. And the Lobos have struck on the 27-yard scamper. I mean, that's, that's just nice action and part of this play design. You're going to see him here fake the jet sweep. And then here, he just hands it off. And you see the jump cut behind the line of scrimmage by Krosky Merritt. And then you see the straight line speed. They said he needed to play a big, big football game. Mm. 
and he needed to be the guy who really sustained his energy throughout the course of this game. And the offensive line got a hat on a hat, made some good blocks. Now they're right back in this football game. What big, big score for the Lobos on the 14th rushing touchdown of Merritt's career. Man, that jump cut was impressive. Have to play huge. And so far, look, it's 14 7. Yep. And here we are early in the second quarter. Their fortune's much different than it was two years ago when they were here. Owens on the return, still on his feet across the 30 to the 34. Let's go back to the studio. Leon Moss in the backfield takes the handoff between the tackles. Straight ahead for about five yards on the play. Down by him, and they need to cover him up better in the back end. Wigman to pass. Taking a shot downfield. A little bit of contact and a flag comes. Boy, they have been working Pola Gates like a part-time job today, Lewis. Yeah, they definitely have figured out that right now his confidence is suffering a little bit and he's panicking. That's at the move on the you defense. See it right Number there. nine. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. As, as soon as he loses phase with the wide receiver, and I think you see they took him out of the game now as a spectator. First and 10 from the 48. Wigman going to hand it off to Moss. And Moss brought down after a gain of about four on the play. Lewis, talk to me about this. From number 16, who can walk down and basically become a fourth defensive lineman. And then they play with a Lobo guy in the middle of the field, that being Tavian Combs, who's been all over the field. Well, well defended that time. Guys ran to the ball and read that well. That's going to be a loss. Don now that they got him in third down, they got to get off the field. A little pressure coming. Couldn't get to Wigman in time, and he delivers a strike complete to Walker. Got rid of it just in time. And another Aggie first down. You know, they got a little bit of a zero blitz. You see Tavian Combs coming off the top of your screen. And Connor Wigman just stands in there about as cool as can be. Let's that ball go early. And puts it on the money. Big time throw. Owens on the run this time. He's going to lose a yard on the play. Rapola making the stop. Were impressive and they're open. Second and 11 coming up. Wigman looks back the other way, taking a shot. Touchdown, what a grab, Thomas! And a gritty for the city. What a catch! You see here, Noah Thomas this time says, hey, Jamarius Lewis, you want to come in the game and play some of your teammate Noah Paula Gates? I'll give you some of this work, too. Wow. I'll run the same route on you, the slot fade. I'll have Connor Wigman just put it up there, and I'll use my 6'6 frame to just beat you at the catch point. They have no answer for him right now. They have absolutely no answer for Noah Thomas. You almost, and right now, you're just going to keep running the yeah. same play? Noah Thomas with his second touchdown tonight. 34-yarder. You could almost hear him say, hey, I got a little one. He's too little. Two, and the meter's running. Let me gritty that for you. Answer here. They scored a touchdown on their previous drive. Almost picked off. Chappelle. Ten coming up. Picks it in motion the top of your screen. Incomplete behind Andrew Erickson, and it'll be third and long. The situation they don't want to be in. Day man, people yeah. got to get used to it, and it's going to take some getting used to. Got to evolve into traffic. Incomplete intended for DJ Washington. He's got the student athletes' mental health. Yeah, that's going to be a big component. Good part of good argument there, Q. On the roll. Off the bounce, Smith. Nice Smith still on his feet inside the 30, dancing down to the 24. The dynamic and imperious punt returner, Aeneas Smith, but we have a flag down on the play after that 43 yard punt return. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Number 40 on Texas A&M. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. First down.
on your stamp from your standpoint. I'm sure Jimbo Fisher let him know. Off the play fake. Into the end zone on the post. Got him in. And it's knocked away. Great recovery by Dante Martin. Closed on it. Right now. But you just got to be smart with it. Especially when you have a big run like that. A big punt return. Daniels with a big run. Breaking loose. Down to the 10 yard line. Sprung loose by Max Wright. With a great block. 28-yard gain. I mean, you just see the tight ends, Max Wright and Jake Johnson. You're going to see him come right out of your screen and just look at the nice move that he makes. And you see Johnson there on the edge making the block that really springs him loose against Christian Ellis. But this offense has got it going on. They're running inside, running outside. The deep passing game is working. Special teams has come to life. Here's Daniels again, trying the left side of that offensive line. Turnover, a big play, something. Second and seven. Daniels again down to the one yard line. And Moss is the deep back. Wickman doubled the snap. It didn't matter. Touchdown, Moss. And the Aggies continuing to roll offensively in one of the time honored traditions here after a score, a touchdown. Moss, that's his second rushing touchdown of his career in another look. That's a nice job by Connor Wigman of making sure that he gets that ball from Bryce Foster and doesn't botch that snap because that came awful close to getting the, putting the ball on the ground. Used up just 202 on the clock, moved at 38 yards for the touchdown. They lead by 21. And boy, Wigman is authoring a wonderful season opener. A precocious sophomore with prodigious poise and oh yeah and their fans that this was going to be a different type of year and a different story not much success there on first and ten Christian Washington your technique has to be perfect because down the field more times than not these wide receivers are better athletes than you are in Texas A&M and showing them all right and Hopkins showing a little Athletic ability with a flag down in the play. He escapes. Ends up about a yard shy of the first down. Holding number 51 on the offense. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay second down. Boy, they have had a proclivity work. Hopkins to pass out of the backfield complete to Washington. Made one good move, made one person miss. Picks up about three on the play. Nolan making the tackle. Now they're starting to get penetration. And they're starting to really disrupt the running game before it gets started. Hopkins has time now on the move. Ah! Throws it up for grabs and it's picked off. Interception for the Aggies. DeBerry. You're just going to see it right here. They're just playing the three deep. And you're going to see. As Dylan Hopkins rolls out, he's not finding any throwing windows. He tries to buy some time escaping out here, but he's starting to get pressured by Fidel Diggs. And he just throws an ill-advised ball. This puts it up for grabs deep in his own territory. Give the pass rush some time. Quarterback makes a bad decision. Now you're back in business. Let's see if they take a shot here after the turnover. Wakeman. Showing great mobility, picks up a first down. Let's go downstairs to Quint. Bobby Petrino hired as the offensive coordinator in January by Jimbo Fisher. This is the first time I can remember Jimbo Fisher not calling the plays today. Petrino's dialing up from upstairs, and he's got this offense certainly in rhythm right now. That has allowed Jimbo Fisher to develop relationships with other players, to spend more time on the CEO portion of being a head coach, dealing with the portal, NIL boosters and donors uh, and certainly Petrino already fits in pretty well with this skill set. Wigman delivers another strike close to the first down to Evan Stewart and uh, what do you make of Coach Fisher's monitoring the guys on his team that may want to enter the transfer portable I mean portal that's a full time job. Sure is now and it's part of it. Gain of about two on the play. 
by Owens brought to unison because they have found out how they want to attack this football team. Adazio has this offensive line coming off the ball. Wigman throws it up into the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Jake Johnson. It'll be second down. It up. Thomas to the top of your screen at 6 6. Wigman looking into the end zone to Thomas, and he catches it again. Touchdown, Aggies. Had a little one on him. I mean, when you have Noah Thomas against the safety, and this time it's Christian Ellis, and he gets you squared up and has a two-way go on you like he has right there. Although, Christian Ellis, you see, he's trying to take inside leverage, but you see where his eyes were? They're in the backfield. The reason why he's looking in the backfield because he's not confident reading the route. So he's just trying to look at the quarterback, hoping the quarterback gives him some kind of signal. Wow. And at that point, the wide receiver has you exactly where he wants you. That's his third touchdown of the day he only had two last season matt berry what's up five tds that's about as efficient as it gets that's a lot of offensive brain power <laughs> for the aggies matchup he can just kind of pick and choose where he wants to help so far so good lobo's going to run it on first down this is Merritt, still on his feet fighting even those legs moving and close to the first down he's not going to stop fighting he's going to keep running this football as hard as he can He'll get another opportunity, but met in the backfield right after taking that handoff from Dylan Hopkins by Edrin Cooper. On this front four, they are taking control of this football game. Lobos run it straight ahead. That's Christian Washington, one of the faster tailbacks. And he was hoping to correct that this yeah. year. Off to a good start in the first half. Washington, nowhere to go, swarmed, swallowed, engulfed. Cooper, the first one to get there for the Aggies defensively. I'm out. Cooper, Texas one of those A&M. players. Fourth down, Lobo's going to punt. A high spiral comes down to the 35. Smith. Smith has been a little conspicuous, and that's not a slight to the coaches or the parents that have called their Pop Warner coaches for their <laughs> kids, okay? Wigman, there's a flag down in the backfield. Wigman. Completes it and it's caught at the 11 yard line to Thomas. But it looks like we're gonna have a hold against Ruben Owens. Holding number two on the offense. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay first down. Your mom and dad never called your pop one. No, coach, they didn't, right? man. They, they didn't have to, right? Call. Wigman, meanwhile, has tied his career high with. Four touchdown passes, throws that one away. Short stop and outfielder. He hit home runs offensively, though, for the Aggies here so far. Completes another pass. This one is Stewart. Still on his feet into Lobo territory at the 46. With 23 seconds to go. The clock stops in the last two minutes in the second quarter. 22-yard gain. And they're going to spike it to stop the clock with 20 how to move the football down the field, work the clock, put points on the board. Wigman over the middle complete, down to the 33-yard line. Another catch by Evan Stewart. They're in hurry-up mode. On the first down, they spot the ball, the clock starts to run again. Boy, the deedle and precise field penalties turn over deep in their own territory. But yeah, this A&M team is loaded. Wigman on the quick out, complete. And this is Randy Bond attempting one from 48 yards out. Low snap, and it's blocked. They snuffed it out. It goes out of bounds. Combs got there, and he blocked it with relative ease. Yeah, man. In a game that hasn't had a whole lot of highlights from New Mexico, Tavian Combs has been the strategy. Otherwise, this game will get out of hand. Wow. Running out of options at this point. Kick comes down short at the 22-yard line where the Aggies call for the fair catch. Oh, okay. Man. It's 100. In ever? I think so, yeah. Wow. A couple times. They look like they're going to on a Thursday off, night. Five yards penalty. 12 layers. So first down. Kind of had a tie on. <laughs> 20. They run it between the tackles. That's Amari Daniels. Brought down after a gain of about three on the play. Trey Zoom right there with the great block on that power play. 
Wigman looking to pass. Complete to Daniels. Broken two tackles. About three yards after the catch. <laughs> Third and seven coming up for the home team. Wigman pocket collapses and they sack him. For the first time today, they got some pressure on him. And Gabriel Lopez, along with Riley, yeah, working the phone, looking for a replay of that sack, maybe. Okay. This offense, you know, they have to take some chances. They should have been taking them all game long. Wysong calls for the fair catch at the 37-yard line. Lobos will have play for the pass. Don't get the ball thrown over your head. Hopkins delivers a strike complete for a gain of about four. And do just that. New Mexico. Nice cut by White. Picks up a first down. Moves the chains. And a strong run over the left. Either 12 05 to go third quarter. High snap for Hopkins, and he's brought down. A little backside pressure. And they get the sack. Josh DeBerry coming off the corner, Lewis. Yeah, I mean, look, there, now DJ Durkin is just starting to work on some things. You need to see Josh DeBerry just going to come off the edge at the top of the screen right here. And you see, and they're bringing an extra man if you do second and long. So the man at the bottom of the screen, they run it. Sherrod White again. Hey, folks, tonight, SEC football final is level of football you're playing. This is just not where you want to be. They got to get to the 38. Hopkins eluding the rush, tucks it under. Going to take off and come up about three yards short. Maybe. Nixon in motion. There you go. Called it, picked up the first down on a nice crack catch and precise execution with Hickson and Hopkins. They're learning things about themselves. And running on first and ten this time. This is Merritt. Picked up about three on the play. Second and seven coming up. Pass complete on the slant. And met immediately. Wysong made the catch and did a nice job just to hang on to it. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness on the defense, number 40. Penalty is 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. Okay, is that another echo from the 15? Pressure, and Hopkins got rid of it. And incomplete in the end zone. No flag intended for Ryan Davis. Personal foul, late hit, unnecessary roughness, number seven. Penalty is half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. The, the first penalty earlier didn't sit well with Jimbo Fisher. This one, I think was more of a retaliation. It was kind of, it was, uh, it was baited by, by the New Mexico player, bottom of your screen, and the retaliation generally gets caught. Oh wow! Yeah, that's, that's weak. Yeah, the official missed the first one. Yeah, he sure did. Merritt in the backfield. He really sold it though. Merritt couldn't sell the fake. There were three Aggies waiting for him. Edron Cooper. Leading the charge of defenders. And we have another whistle. The leg game on the offense, number 10, five yard penalty, four second down. Environment has kind of got you on your heels. Davis in motion. Pass is caught at the 10, that's DJ Washington. Find a consistent rhythm. Picked up six. Third and goal. Back to DJ. Incomplete. Broken up by DeBerry. But Josh DeBerry and Tony Grimes really battled it out in camp to see who would earn that starting quarterback spot opposite camp. And it's plays like that as to why he did. And 27 yards out to his wiki. Knocks this one through. To make it 35 to 10, and with a little over six minutes to go in the third quarter, the Lobo. In confidence, the crowd gets into it and makes it more difficult for your offense. It's just all steamrolls downhill from there. And they pooch kick it again down to the 30 yard line. <laughs> all game? Like that kind of interaction. Yeah, time to eat. 
Oh man, Moss tripped up by shoelaces by Christian Ellis. Otherwise, he had a whole bunch of real estate open in front of him. He picked up 11 yards. Across the formation and a run this time. Gain of about two yards by Reuben Owens. Down and seven. Wakeman on the quick slant in traffic complete into an extremely tight window. Smith made the catch on the play. We have a flag as well. I think we may have a targeting situation yeah. right here. It's been a tough night for Pola Gates. He was in the neighborhood. Let's see if it was on him. Personal foul targeting on the defense, number 30. The previous play is under further review. I'm not sure about that. Here's the call. After, after further review, there is no foul for targeting. Number 30 may remain in the game. Hmm. First down, Texas A&M. Yeah. I mean, it was close. So good for Lady Toledo to stay in the game. Little play action. Wigman wide open. Smith with the catch. And his longest reception of the day takes the Aggies down to the 20-yard line. First down and 10. It's just a double move. A double move here. On the safety against Zach Morris, who's actually a corner. I mean, that's just that's just hard to defend when the court you're not getting any pressure on the quarterback. You're playing off man coverage. And these guys are able to free release off the line of scrimmage with the athletic ability they have. They're just going to chew you up. Here's a little bubble screen complete to Stewart. Another one of the weapons. Back to Smith, though. Well, I, was like, well, I don't know about that, but I get your point. Little blitz coming. Wigman got hit, got rid of it, though. And a great catch by Thomas. And a spin move. Oh, Houdini time. Picks up the first down. Everything coming up right for Noah Thomas. <laughs> See, look, Wigman has made that jump. Great point. He's on it right now. He's going to hand it off this time to Reuben Owens, stopped immediately by Kyler Drake. Second and goal coming up with. Second and goal. Into the end zone, up for grabs. Incomplete. No flag on the play. Broken up by Combs. It's too much air under. He completed the last six in a row before that third and goal. Wigman right back at it. Touchdown this time. They make the connection. Stewart. When you have guys like Bobby Petrino and you have guys like Jimbo Fisher who call plays as long as they have, when they find a matchup, they're just going to keep exploiting it. And they're wide receivers against the safeties, against the wolf position players on this football team. This time it happens to be Tavian Combs, who's their Lobo safety. When you play off coverage against four and five star wide receivers and you give them two way goes, and I understand you're trying to take inside, that's just saying, hey, look, yeah. how about we run that again, Jimbo? And Jimbo goes, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Throw it again. They're eating. And as you pointed out, the Lobo's not winning early in the route defensively. This is Washington on the return, fumbled it, and it's brought down at about the five. Let's check in with the studio. One of those week one situations with Texas A&M saying, uh-uh, we ain't having that. Texas State. And that's going to be a gain of about a yard by... As this season goes on. Handed up between the tackles to Christian Washington. Please. On third and four. Slam complete. A nice catch by Washington. He's been one of the more reliable players. Certainly have the facilities down here. Brand new indoor practice facility. And there's Christian Washington again. Picking up about five. Second and five for New Mexico. White with the run, picked up about a yard, maybe two. Let's go down to Q, who spoke with. Very smooth. Staff's doing a great job. Bobby's calling a great game. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. That's what everybody wanted to hear, Q, at the end of the night. Still trending in that direction. Pass incomplete. But operationally, that's what he has to be pleased with right now in terms of his, probably his communication, along with Bobby Petrino, how the quarterback is playing.
how the defense is playing, so he's got to be pleased when he goes and talks to DJ Durkin after this game about what good leaders do. That's what good coaches do, yeah. especially if they ultimately want to win. Yeah, I've been married for 24 years. I know about taking off. And that too. <laughs> that too. Max Johnson almost sacked by Kyler Drake on second down. Max Johnson, a lefty, and he's going to be called for intentional grounding. Got a flag. Intentional down. grounding. Number 14 on the offense. Penalty ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Penalty also includes a loss of down. Second down. Ball did not go beyond the line. Search is about the quarterback room and how Max Johnson and Connor Wigman, guys who both have been successful, how they get on. He said it's perfect. <laughs> Great communication. Yes. Both type A's who want to play. But I think that that things happen. Third right. and 20. Johnson back to pass. The lefty standing tall downfield, but incomplete. Intended for Walker. And it'll be fourth down coming up. And by the way, it Good team here, the new booth. <laughs> met your wife in the hallway yeah. the other day at the hotel. I mean, it's just it's awesome, man. Been a fun weekend. Absolutely. Special place here at College Station, Texas on the punt return. Great downfield coverage by Luke Wysong. What a tackle after that 49-yard punt. The Aggies playing hard to the whistle. It's only a, what, 95? 99 tonight. Recently named 12th man, and boy, he was really excited about the game tonight. Going to be performing in front of a whole bunch of family and friends. Here's Hopkins, sacked. Good heat up front by Shamar Turner. And we had a great time talking to him, and look, he told us, let's not play down to anyone's level, let's play to our level. Let's go ahead and destroy and make sure they don't want to come back to this field. That's what we're talking about, style points. And I asked him that question in particular. I said, does it matter how you win this game? And he said, absolutely. And we've talked about it amongst ourselves, absent the coaches. The players were on a mission here tonight. They didn't need the head coach to tell them what the mission was here tonight. They decided amongst themselves, it's time to dominate, it's time to turn it up. And they've done just that. Second and 16, toss into the boundary. And good run support off the corner that time by Bryce Anderson. Against you want to play and impose your will. And tonight they look like a much different unit. Hopkins throws it out of bounds. Good decision there. Sets up fourth and long. Message. Let's start with the players, what Sam Matthews talked about. We'll see if they can do it all year. But yeah, this is how you start. They'll get a step up in competition once they hit conference play. And we get a flag down. Ball rolls down to the 23 where it's E at Ole Miss. Kick catch interference on the kicking team. Number 13, 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. And at LSU as well. Then Deion said. Not surprised at all what's happening in Colorado. Little receiver screen met immediately by Zach Morris on the catch by Noah Thomas. And now we uh, started for UCLA. All right, back here. An authoritative throw complete to Walker. Max Johnson in a tight window there. Max Johnson, 6'6", 230, standing tall in the pocket, looking impressive on that throw, Lewis. Yeah, I mean, look. It's nice to have that as a backup when you have a guy who has the experience that Max has and then he can throw to this nice set of wide receivers that they have out here where they're pretty deep as well with this core as well. Four receivers in this formation. Owens motions out of the backfield and we got a whistle first. It's like we're going to have some motion. Ball start. Number 17 on the offense. Five yard penalty till third down. 1992 Sacramento Surge World Bowl champions. Thank you. <laughs> Got Thank the ring, you. right? That's right. World champions. <laughs> third night. Real world champions. <laughs> Incomplete downfield. <laughs> world We're champions. Play. World champions. I but hear that, you. I hear you, Noah Lyles. That, yeah, we I play teams you. all over the world. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's an appearance. The, the London Monarchs. Right. 15 yard the penalty Berlin from the Berlin previous spot. Thunder, Frankfurt, Galaxy, the, all the that. Barcelona got that world champions. Thing. That's right. I still have that <laughs> ring. I still have that ring. <laughs> On the run, this is Owens. Nice cut inside. Picks up the first down. 
Boy, Owens is an impressive running back. Hey, developing them if you is can how you've been. You build championship programs. You can keep them from leaving, too. That's right. That's right. To the sideline, complete. Nice catch by Thomas. Doing a little work after the catch to pick up the first down at about the 14-yard line. You can stay connected to things like that a little bit easier. They run it into the boundary. This is Owens again. Picked up a yard on the play. Clock the all year long. Noah, Evan Stewart, Moose. They can compete it. with anybody. Oh, nice move by Johnson. Spins out of harm's way, completes the pass. And a touchdown for Moose. Leaving Moose tracks all over that defense. Another one for the talented receiving core. Moose said, let me get in on the party. He just runs a little option route and just kind of like works back to the outside. He was going across the field from the slot. He sees Max Johnson spin out. He just makes himself, works, runs himself open. Max hits him right in stride and then watch this. Put on the brakes. Er! Wow. And just walk in like, thank you, thank you. Just, just keep it down, keep it down. Another one of those impressive yes, working receivers, Lewis. Yes, sir. 6-2, good catch radius. 39th touchdown pass of Johnson's career, ninth touchdown catch of Muhammad's career. Yes, sir, just like his dad. Mm. Realignment, coaching carousel. Fear is in the air, tension everywhere. And the band played on. Transfer from App State. You might remember what happened here last year. Different circumstances tonight, though. Dorian Lewis. Because when you see the powerhouses win convincingly, look. It, it always bothers me when when fans say, "Well, look at the opponent. That's why the score." But look, there, there's still a quality of play. In the West, right? Exactly. Yeah. And you know what? We'll see where it all ends up. Under pressure, throws it up for grabs, and a nice catch at the other end by Deuce Jones. In traffic, makes a catch near midfield. We got a flag down on the play. Just under six minutes to go. Jones with his first reception. Personal foul, roughing the passer on the defense, number 99. 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First down. See, this is Gabe Dindy. You're going to see him right around here. But just look what he does to C.J. James, the center. He basically runs him over. Mm. All right, and here we go. On the help people recover. Tapscott's pass incomplete in the end zone intended for Medford. My song in motion on second and ten. Nowhere to go on the handoff for Dorian Lewis. Met immediately. Third and 15 for the Lobos. Incomplete. A little miscommunication there. The Mexico's run the ball for 81 yards tonight. They're going to pass here, and it's batted down. Loose ball, Shamar Stewart again. And he has been all over the field tonight. What an effort to go first and 10. From the 38. This is Bailey Jr. Trying to get those shoulders pointed upfield. Hey, here's our Sunday night base backs. How about that? Second and eight. Johnson throws it away with just under four minutes ULM in week three. College football is back in full effect. That pass incomplete intended for the tight end Orstrom. We got a flag down though. Noah Paula Gates again. He's just had a tough night. Man. He's had a tough night in coverage, man. He just panics at the break point and starts grabbing and holding. Eyes go to the backfield. It, I mean, Pass interference on the defense. Ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. It's, it's this kind of thing you see defensive backs struggle with all the time. You to break that trend in the middle of the game, and obviously for him tonight, 
that's been the case. A gaping hole in the middle for Bailey Jr. Picks up another first down. The clock will keep running. Be Pacific time. Coach Norvell really uh, has got things moving in the right direction at Florida State. Gain of about three on the play by Bailey Jr. Danny Garcia, he told us, he said, look, no matter how this game turns out, it is not going to dis define our season. Right. And he understands, he, he knows that this is a very talented football team in the secondary, specifically from last year's team. I'm sure, I know he thought that the secondary would play better. He thought that athletically they were better this year. Right. But they got, a lot of they got a lot of season left to play. Yes. And no improve. Johnson down the middle, incomplete. Intended for Walker. From the 26. Clean pocket. Bobby Petrino likes his quarterbacks to have space. Had plenty of space to get it to Moose Muhammad. Had one blocked earlier from 48 yards out. This one coming from 39. And he knocks it through to make it 52 to 10. This is going to be a fun team to watch all year. Pretty much what was expected tonight. Yeah. Came in a prohibitive favorite. And Wysong going to take it out of the end zone out to the 19 yard line, where it'll be first and 10 from there. 12th man again. Getting his reps and yes, getting his hits is. in tonight, isn't he? That's what I'm saying. Sam Matthews, celebrate. I, I you deserve it. it. I love it. Transfer from Harding University. Of course, the 12th man lore goes that E. King Gill had a fan come out of the stands and suit up for the shorthanded Aggies back in the day. Thus, the legend of the 12th man here in College Station. First and ten from the 20. Ooh. Nice hit in the gap. Lewis on the carry. I mean, look. He's like, yeah. All right. We got some work done tonight. How are you playing? Habits and culture are so vitally important. In the final equation, Lewis on the carry. I mean, look, it was on full display, right, in right. Colorado. I mean, with yep. Colorado today. The way in which they played. Yep. You haven't seen a Colorado team play like that in how long? It, it matters, man. Yeah. It matters. Well, that's it. Jimbo Fisher and Texas A&M winning their season opener convincingly, impressively, offensively, and defensively. As he has succeeded play calling to Bobby Petrino. And as they end up winning at 52 to 10. Don't forget coming up next. It's Coastal Carolina taking on UCLA. And we are off and running. College football back in full effect for Lewis Riddick. And Quinn Kessenick. Jimbo Fisher all smiles. Coastal Carolina UCLA coming up next. I'm Mark Jones. So long from College Station, Texas.